Hi guys, it's Angela with Cali Mom Collects and today I have another thread up five pound DIY box of jewelry to open for you guys. I am having a lot of fun with these thread up boxes and so I was able to get a couple more and I'm excited. This one is from Phoenix, Arizona. And let's just get into it. All right, let's take a quick peek. And now I'm gonna dump it out and pull pieces out one by one for you guys. Ooh, I see, I see some Chloe's and A bracelets. I love cloisonne jewelry. I think that it is beautiful. So one is like a teal and the other is a white color. It's hard to see the design on these thin ones. Those are super cute. I love those. I don't know if I'll even sell those. We have this silver tone, am I too close? Okay, silver tone mesh necklace and this pretty Tiffany blue colored pendant. This one's pretty, I love the colors of this. Okay, I see that on the pendant, it's RMN. I think that's short for Roman, but I'm not 100% sure. And this looks like one of those magnetic ones, yep, that you can replace the pendant if you'd like. And there's that. We have these are from Francesca's. That's a boutique. It's a um, mall boutique around here and um, they have really cute accessories and clothes and shoes. Um, but that's cute on this little lace doily. Little tiny pearl earrings. Super cute, brand new. like those. I like those a lot. Ooh, we have a brooch. The brand is DD. And it is a sunflower brooch. We have a leather bracelet, thick band, silver tone, some rhinestone accents. It's in decent condition. There's that. All right, I see the tag. This is a Brighton necklace. And it is on a simple blue macrame style cord with little beads woven in and then a silver pendant. It's simple and cute. What? Oh goodness, this one's, this one's a bit of a mess. Let's see if I could get it quickly. Oh, 
Got it. All right. So what is this? We have, it says, Oregon Scientific Eye Balance. So this must be maybe magnets for balance. It's on a little clip. And then it has these silver tone pieces here and here. We have these brand new earrings on card. Christiana, Christiani, crystal jewelry. Crystals from Swarovski, it says. Those are pretty. Brand new on card. So we have those, those are gorgeous. Okay, this is interesting. This is a hair clip. It says something back there. It looks kind of vintage to me. And it says made in France. Maybe, is it missing? Yeah, I think it's missing a rhinestone there. But this is a pretty hair clip made in France. And it looks has a little bit of a vintage, at least style to me. Okay, we have a bead bracelet, stretch. Is stretch, does it have stretch? Yes, it has stretch. And these look like goldstone to me. This is pretty, I like this. We have a Christmas watch. Has a glittery Santa in there on a red cord, genuine leather. So just a cute Christmas watch. We have a ring. Looks like a fashion ring. I'm not seeing any marks on it. It's cute, I like it. I like that one. This one looks like turquoise and mother of pearl. Kind of has a Native American vibe to it. It's on that. It's cute. I like the style. My Pekingese goes snoring for you guys again. All right, we have some fashion earrings, pretty blue colors. I don't see any marks on it, but these are in really good condition. Okay, got that separated. Now, what is this? All right, this is different, but it's really nice looking in really good condition with this matte brushed gold tone. And so it is a magnet clasp here, and then it has a little safety clasp. Don't see any brands on it, but that is that. That's really 
really interesting. Ooh, I see more cloisonne bracelets. So this one is like a cobalt blue and a teal blue. So there's four of those so far. Those are really pretty. Okay, we have an amethyst cluster pendant here. It's on a simple black cord necklace, but this pendant is beautiful. All right, we have a simple wood bead necklace. It kind of looks older. There's that. Okay, we have a bracelet and it has a magnetic closure here and a safety chain. And we have a beautiful glass bead, tubular bead. And these pieces here I'm gonna test those. Those are a really brilliant gold color. Those look like they could be gold to me. It's not magnetic. Okay, well the magnet part is magnetic, but that part isn't. And I don't know if you guys can see just what a bright, brilliant gold color that is. So I am going to test this piece and see if it is gold. I don't see any markings, but it looks like it to me. So I'm gonna put this aside and check that out later. We have this bangle bracelet that has the horseshoe and the clover, the four leaf clover. And it says chrysalis. Let me see. Let me look closer. Yes, chrysalis. And then it has a butterfly. I don't see any anything on the back side. Let's see if this one's magnetic. This one is not magnetic. I will put that in the pile to test. Okay, we have this bracelet. This looks vintage to me, this, this metal stretch and these chunky prong set rhinestones or crystals. They kind of look like crystals. They have a very, um, they have kind of a rainbow look inside there. I'm not seeing any marks on it and there is some fading, but this is interesting to me, this piece. Kind of looks mid-century modern vintage. Looks like all the stones are there, just has fading. But I like that piece. That's different. I like it. Well, this is very bright. This kind of like this hot pink color and this silver tone. The feel of it is definitely a fashion piece to me. The sound of it as well. I don't see any marker marks on it, but I think this is just a pretty fashion piece. It's very interesting. I like the style of it. Okay, I see these earrings. So these are very light. Can't tell if they are glass or plastic. 
they kind of have a look of glass. They're very light. This piece is cute. I'm not a fan of choker necklaces anymore. Um, I was at one point, but now I feel like I'm choking in them. <laughs> but this one's really pretty. It's very Victorian. Um, I love this with the cameo and the maroon lace and the antique gold tone flower accents. This piece is beautiful. It kind of looks like a homemade piece. Handmade. With this little felt piece right there that makes me think of that. But um, nonetheless, it's, it's really pretty. And if you are into that Victorian look, then this piece is gorgeous. So there's that. That is nice. We have, it says Dry Wit Designs from Oregon. What is this? This feels like that clay. So, it kind of looks like it would be stone, but it feels like that clay material to me. Those are interesting. Oh, I got a little bit of a tangle, guys. Hold on. All right, this piece is interesting. So it is on this really long, oh goodness, really long cord that has a gold tone rope and a blue cord wrapped in there. So, is really cool. This looks like anthropology style to me. It's a hammered gold tone and it has all of these layers. And then just this simple chain. That piece is really neat. Interesting. We have a bracelet from Cuba. This looks like a souvenir piece. Someone went to Cuba and got a bracelet. There's that. Oh, we have a Brighton bracelet and it's brand new. So we have this cute bangle Brighton bracelet. It says, Live the life you imagined. And it looks like it was a sale piece because there's a lot of, it was originally 36 and then marked down to 25 and then 18. So that's a pretty bright bracelet. Okay, I see something interesting. This looks like a Heishi style necklace with chunks of turquoise. Now, the ones that I've seen of these Heishi necklaces that had turquoise in it were more valuable. And if this is silver, then that brings some value to it too. Let me see if that says something. It looks like silver to me. I'm not seeing any marks, but let me see. 
No, I'm thinking this is silver. I will test it, but this piece is awesome. I like this one. I have a feeling this one's gonna be good. Can't wait to look that one up. This piece looks vintage. Oh, there's an earring stuck to it. All right, I do see a couple missing stones over there. And no marks on that. I don't see any marks on it, but it definitely has a vintage look to it. Pretty, I'll see if I can find something to replace those stones over there. Ooh, we have a rose quartz crystal. On a simple gold tone chain, it does say something on this chain. I think that says 18 karat gold plate. 18 karat gold plate chain in a rose quartz crystal. That's awesome. We have a cute heart brooch. Gold tone, a heart colored stone in there. I'm not seeing any marks on this, but it's very pretty. And we will see, what is this? Okay, this is cute. We have an owl bracelet with little turquoise colored bellies. Bless you, Luke. He's sneezing now. He's snoring and sneezing. He's so loud. Alrighty, that is adorable. I don't see any marks on it, but this bracelet is precious. All right, we have a very long, oh my goodness, long. It's doubled and I still can't get it. Let me, am I out? Yeah. This. It has a peach tone to these pearls. Feels, yeah. These are faux pearls, but this is a cute little fashion piece. Peach color. Alrighty, we have a stone pendant, simple cord. The stone in it is like in a teardrop shape. Cute. Okay. We have a bracelet. It says 925 in the back there. Mexico and it says something on top of Mexico but it is very muted and dulled out I can't make that out but that is a pretty 925 bracelet with it looks like mother of pearl inlay and then this other blue Pretty, very pretty. Okay, this one. 
This is a beautiful cross. And I can't tell. I see gold tone and silver tone or fading. I'm not sure. This says something. The chain says 18 karat gold plated. The cross is very, very little and dainty. The cross says something as well. Oh, okay, it's upside down. Ten carat A D ten K A D E A D E or A D L. It's starting to fade too. But I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. It's very small up right about there. Ten K A D E it looks like. So we have a gold cross pendant on a gold plated chain. So that's awesome. We got a little bit of gold in this lot. A Little bit of gold, a little bit of silver so far. That's cool. Okay, this one looks cool too. Oh my goodness. So this is the Heishi style. And it looks like it has ground turquoise and I'm not sure what this black is. Let me test this chain or this, this connector. Oh, this is going to be hard. This one's like kinked. It doesn't want to, it must be on a wire. Okay, that is magnetic. And this is kind of misshapen. I don't know about this piece. It's kind of crazy. It's not wanting to lay nice at all. So there's that. It's very interesting, but not too sure about it. So we have this necklace with this pendant. What does this say? It's a J, but it says something down here at the bottom. Pick up, pick up sticks, pick up sticks jewelry. That's what that says. Pick up sticks jewelry. Never heard of it. This clasp looks interesting to me. This looks like it could be on a silver chain. Let me look closely. Yes, and that says 925 right down there. So we have another sterling silver piece with a pickup sticks jewelry pendant J. That's interesting. Okay, we have, let's show both of these cause they're, oh goodness, wait, maybe, maybe. All right, these two are very similar. feel like all of these stone jewelry and this crystal jewelry came from the same person or it was somebody who had um, a business and got rid of them because they're all on the same cordage. They just have a different pendant. And these crystal points are really neat. This kind of looks like um, Dalmatian Jasper to me, but you guys can let me know if you know. And in this one right here has a blue glitter to it. I don't 
don't know if the camera is going to get that glitter. How cool is that? Those are awesome. I love those. Scoop back out. Okay. This is very nice. It looks to be in really good condition. Just need to be cleaned up a little bit. What does that say? I think that's House of Harlow. Yeah, that's what it looks like, the H. House of Harlow brand and this is a nice necklace. This is really nice. This it definitely can be sold. The gold tone is in good condition. Like I said, it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and it has a nice design with blues and greens. Okay, it's a bit dirty. Definitely will clean that up and that one can be sold. Pairs of earrings. Kind of similar colors on these two. These are a gold tone hoop with a gray. Great condition on these. A little bit of a little chip right there I see now that I've turned it over. But there's those hoops. And then these very pretty crystal beads and gold tone beads. Those earrings are beautiful. I love those. All right, let's try to get through the last of these bits. This is a really pretty rhinestone bracelet. Fold over clasp. I don't see any marks on it, but it's beautiful. Okay, we have some earrings that look tangled up in their own. ones are different. They have a little turquoise and it could be coral and they kind of hang like that. This kind of looks like a hanger. So that is how they hang. Those are very cute and in great condition. All right, I see some rings here. Let's see, let's pull in all the rings. I've got quite a bit of rings at the bottom of this. Goodness, lots of rings. Okay, I think that's it for the rings. Oh wait, nope, there's a piece. All right, let's check these out. This one's big and bold right here. Looks like it has little either glass or crystal pieces in there. I do see a mark right in there. Let's see what it says. It says, it's upside down, but it says 925 and I can't make out what the other part says. I definitely see 925. This one is big. And colorful. Let's check. Ooh, what? It's magnetic. Now this one, this definitely looks like silver to me. And I can see that it says 925 in there. And it has the marcasites and what looks like turquoise. This one's pretty. 
Kind of has a vintage look to it. Let's see if that one's magnetic. Nope. I'm thinking this one really is. Just by the look of the ring and the tarnish. This one's beautiful. I love this one. I'm going to leave that one on. Let's... Okay, this one is magnetic. This one has a mark in there too. What does that say? This says 18 karat. What? Goodness. 18 karat gold GE. And then it looks like it has an A. So I think that's supposed to be an electro plate. Maybe the plate will all come off because it is magnetic. So I'll test this one too, but I don't know about that. Okay, the little, it's cute, a cute little elephant ring. It is magnetic and there is no marks. It looks like a little fashion ring. Okay, the rest are not magnetic, so let's check them out. Now this one looks like a fashion ring to me. It's pretty, but just by looking at it on the inside, it looks like a fashion ring. Okay, this one, this one, and these all look similar. Maybe they're like a, they all have like this viney wood looking band on all of them. I see fading. I definitely, I think these are a fashion ring, but they have a vintage style to it. Oh, this one is very um, misshapen. Let's see what this one says. Thailand, 925, NP. NP925 Thailand. So that one could be. We'll test that one and see if I can bend that back. Put that in the test pile. And then we have a little turtle. Turtle ring. And this one looks like a fashion one to me by looking at the inside of it. But it's super cute. If you like turtles, super cute. All right, let's see, what do we got? What do we have, what do we have? Okay. Those are pretty earrings. They have crystal dangles, flowers, and then this. Those ones are really pretty, pretty colors. Not seeing any marks on them, but those are gorgeous. Okay, I see these. Some gold tone earrings. Whoa, these ones are beautiful. Look at this purple stone. And then at the end of the dangles are all these peacock colored crystals. These ones are gorgeous. So we have the purple crystal and then the tassel with the peacock crystal beads at the bottom. These are really pretty. Okay. These ones are really neat too. These look like malachite in a gold tone. These 
these do have a brand on the back. Aisharia. Looks like I S H A R Y A. Aisharia. Aisharia. I don't know. Very pretty studs. All right, we've got some gold tone hoops. I see the etch work on these. What does that, does that say something there? S, it's an S. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see if I can. That, there's an S right there on the hoop. So maybe these are gold plated silver. They're not magnetic. So I'm thinking, oh, hold on. Let me push pause on the video. Someone needs to go outside. Okay. I'm back. So these earrings, my thoughts are that S is for silver and it's it gold plated silver earrings, but we will we will see. I will test these out. I have a lot of stuff to test. All right, what else? All right, this necklace. We need to scoot out for this one. So this is just a gold tone, simple necklace. And I think that this goes in there and it could be worn at different lengths, however you like. And then this part would hang down the middle. The gold tone is in really good condition, and this is just a simple fashion piece. Okay, pull this back in. Oh, I see this bracelet. That looks like the Hamza hand. It's a gold tone, but I'm seeing some markings here on this clasp. Definitely markings. Let me see. It's upside down. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't get it to sit still. Oh, my goodness. What does this say? 14 carat. 1, 20, 14 carat. I can't see if there's something. Okay, here. Look at the last bit of the jewelry. This is the last bit. While I look closer at this clasp. Yes, this says 14 carat. It's a little 14 carat. It's very dainty and light, but it is the, I'm sure, I think it's Ham, Hamza, Hamza hand. So we have some gold. Oh, that's awesome. All right, that looks like a single earring. That looks like a single earring. These cute little owl earrings. Super cute. Oh my goodness. Look at the flowers and the crystals for the eyes in here. Those are really pretty. Let me see. Well, anyways, those are adorable. Okay. We've got some green studs. Some more owl earrings. These ones aren't as cute as the others, but still cute. And some blue owl earrings. We've got some silver tone hoops here. Let's see if these are magnetic. 
Oh, those are magnetic. But the silver tone is in really good condition. Just small little silver hoops. Okay, we have these. Let me see if there's any markings on these. I'm not seeing any markings on these. Oh, they're magnetic. They're just cute little fashion studs. Sometimes these can be sterling silver, but I don't think those are. So that looks like a, here's these little drops. I don't see any marks on those ones. Those ones are not magnetic, so I will test those ones as well. Put those in my test pile. And then last, these little tiny hoops. I have never seen hoops so tiny. Are these for men? Or is this for, I don't know. They're just so tiny. The tiniest hoops ever. Let's see if those are magnetic. Those are not magnetic, so I will test these as well. And then guys, this is it, we're down to it. Three single earrings left. These look like silver to me when a pearl, let me see. Yeah, these I bet are silver. I will test that as well. Wait, I do see a mark on this. Oh yeah, this says, wait, what does that say? 751-925. So it has a star, 751-VI-925. That's so tiny, there's no way you guys will be able to see that, but. And those definitely look like silver to me, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull back Gosh, there was a lot of really cool pieces in this lot, but I'm gonna pull back my favorites, the ones that I think I can flip for a good profit in, in this video. Okay guys, I am really excited about this thread up box. There are so many awesome pieces in here. All of this stone jewelry over here, especially this, this Heishi style one with the turquoise pieces, um, these cloisonne bracelets, these new pieces up here, the vintage style jewelry here and the barrette and the brooches. Lots of sterling silver and gold pieces that I need to test over here. And then the Brighton pieces, two Brighton necklaces and the Brighton bracelet one necklace that is marked 10 carat and then where did that little bracelet go uh, oh this little bracelet is marked 14 carat gold and we've got marked silver silver rings up here silver mexican style from mexico bracelet these earrings that look gold, but they have an S there, which makes me think that they're gold over silver. I will test those. Lots of pieces to test here and lots of potential to make a lot of money in this lot. These malachite earrings. Um, oh my goodness, this one was awesome. I'm super excited. I will let you guys know on this screen what I find out about the pieces. I hope you enjoyed watching the, me open this lot of jewelry and if you do like these videos please subscribe and I will be doing many many more so until next time guys thank you for watching bye